Hi guys, it's me and Daddy's back with the next Castle Flipper episode. Before we get in, I need to tell you that I've changed it up a little bit. I've changed it up a little bit. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. This is the this is the Mage's house from last episode. That's basically the same except for the outside. And then I've added a house for this teacher. So you can see um, teachers, obviously, they love apples. If I know anything about teachers, it is that they love delicious shiny red apples. And I gave her like books and stuff. And next to her, I've put a student, I believe, Bellamira. She's a 52 year old student. So as a student, I figured she would be a bit of a partier. She's got a few books, but mostly, yeah, mostly she's got the kegs and, and the barrels and things. So they do give me a little bit of rent, not a huge amount, but um, as you can see at the top there, I did grind out a little bit in terms of collecting rent and stone. I also made a house for our lumberjack, but I have not yet rented it to him. So he's not going to give us any rent, but I think we'll go ahead and rent that out to him. The Royal Lumberjack works in the woodcutter's house. He is responsible for collecting wood for the kingdom. In exchange for his work, the queen provides free accommodation and cleaning services. Yeah, that's one annoying thing. I do have to clean these guys' houses, which doesn't feel super uh, queenly. Doesn't feel super queenly, but you know. So this is the lumberjack's house. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. I've just like filled it with loads of like lumber and stuff. And he's got a tiny, tiny garden out the front here because he needed five trees. I think that Regina Gorge is looking pretty cute. I've put a well down and this planter thing. Jermaine's still here and I've just put Matilda in this little shed and she's got some mushrooms now. I'll let Matilda have this little shed for now and then when we upgrade, actually I might be able to upgrade now. Yeah, I've got enough money to upgrade the land so... Whoa. Once we have enough space to build a castle, that's where I will put myself and Matilda. Oh, so it, it moved the entire fence back, so now these guys are within my walls. Okay, well that makes a bit more sense. I don't know if it looks a bit weird now that there's so much open space, but I can deal with that later. Let me show you here. See, it says uh, I need to clean the house. I'll just real quick show you what that means. Yeah, so there's like a stain here. Then she's happy. The teacher has this chair that she's somehow smuggled in. What the hell has happened here? My beautifully laid out table. Well, her stuff can be on the ground with the rest of the apples. That's absolutely fine. All right, everyone happy? Everyone's happy. Oh my gosh, look. He's a real boy. Oh, he's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. The ax is coming straight for my... Oh, but he lays it down. Oh, he lays it down so gently. It's looking more and more like a proper queen than like, look at that. The defense. Oh, oh no, guys. I just realized this means that the, the deer that spawns in, in the sky, probably we won't see them anymore. I think they've been pushed out of our borders. That's so sad. Okay. What do we have here? Carpenter needed. If you're reading this and you know how to handle tools properly, please help me. My house has been broken into and I cannot fix it myself. I'm out to- oh. I'm out to late hours every day except Sundays. Oh. This is seeming very familiar to me. <laughs> I cannot afford skipping work. I've been working hard recently to present my neighbour with a new carriage. Oh. Oh no. But now I think I have to spend that money on house repairs. <laughs> Who could have thought something like this can happen in our peaceful village? Okay, again, it's not signed. Ooh, 10k? Damn. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the house that we destroyed every single object in last episode. Is it? Yeah, same house, okay. We've got the green ghosts here. I'm kind of curious if we can just um, put down anything and it will count. Okay, no, it was a beautiful dream. Okay, we have to put down um, exactly the thing that it wants us to put down. Sorry that I have like autistic vision. I, I don't think this was open before. Is this gonna tell me to turn back? Oh, maybe this is un unlock the road. Maybe that, I assume that's meant to say unblock the road. Yeah, okay. I love the way this tree is spiraling. 
Oh, I thought my horse would be over here. Let's put that there for now. Let's do this entire area before we go wandering around. Okay, nothing to place here. Nothing out here. Okay, it looks like something green and glowing is in here, so I'm gonna have to rip. Oh, I'm just having to place stuff down. This is like a kitchen area, I guess. Maybe, I mean, that's not exactly right, but it's, yeah, it's gotta take it, surely. So I guess you don't have to exactly match what it's asking for. We can just give him the cheap stuff. I'm sure he won't mind. I'm assuming that this will save me money in the long run if I just use all the cheapest stuff, because I will still get paid. He doesn't need a mattress. And are we at the top? There's no balcony. Okay, oh, I hate that it's getting dark. Can I sleep in this? No. <laughs> okay, we've done that one. I think I checked behind, nothing. I can't exactly remember where the chests were last time. I should put that fire in someone's house, it's quite nice. I, you, you may have noticed I hardly gave anybody um, kitchen stuff, but I'm pretty sure that back in these times, it was more, I think it was more communal. Like I, I'm pretty sure that people would share a big kitchen in the middle of the village and that kind of thing. You'll also notice that I gave my houses almost exclusively to women, which was my initial plan, but now it kind of has me feeling like one of those um, really uncomfortable Craigslist rental property postings. Like, low rent, you just have to uh, be my maid and my girlfriend. That's not the vibe that we want in Regina Gorge. Um, oh, there's more upstairs. Can I open? No? That is a bit of a tease, but okay. This game can be really quite frightening at night. Unfortunately, I just have to wait for the sun to come up. I cannot um, speed time up or anything. Not while I'm not at home. All right, I think this is where the chest was the last time. Oh, he's moved the chest. I guess that's the first thing you do if you get robbed, isn't it? You don't keep all your um, most valuable possessions in the same spot. Man, I'm doing a real crappy job here. <laughs> this is a really big estate. One day, Regina Gorge will be this big. All right, so let's grab, wait. Is it... I thought that was where I put my box, but I guess I put it over here. Yeah, okay, well let's grab that and see if we can't find our horse and cart. They've gotta be here somewhere. Am I even on the path? This is how Snow White got attacked by wolves. The exact, exact same scenario. Oh god, it's a full moon. Hello, let me in. Oh god, let me in. Oh, hi horsey. So I'm guessing there's like a bunch of chests out in the forest there, but I don't want to be looking around in the dark. Um, okay, stuff to clean. Yeah, tons of stuff to clean. Okay, we haven't explored this before. Oh, we've placed all the furniture, so now what do we need to do? Change building appearances, change wall appearances. Um, okay, I don't, I don't know exactly where we do that. Are these the windows? Yeah, okay, these are the windows we need to open. I wonder if I'll be able to have these windows later, like these kind of stained glass ones. That looks like there should be a secret door behind it, but I don't think there is. Ooh. Oh my gosh, she's got a waterfall and everything. I would love to live here instead. I would decorate it up so good. Okay, so I've opened the windows, we're good. Do I do I get access to that wallpaper? I I want that. I think we've explored this one little bit as much as we can. All right, what's in here? Oh my god, more doors. It's very spooky. Wait, what's in here? Why, why is there a single door on each wall? It's quite ominous. Um. <laughs> And here all the doors have been filled in, it's like cemented in. Another empty room. It's like an elevator where I can't stop because I can't get off the ladder. Okay, chest. Cool. And the sun's up amazing. Can I? It would be real cool if I could jump from here, but I can't. Oh, I need to change. Change fence appearance, change building appearance. I don't know where I do that. Maybe it's back at the other place. I bet it's back um, where we started out. Oh, this is beautiful. 
What a lovely domain. I wish it was mine. I'm just doing a wee bit of exploring because I'm pretty sure that the chest will be around here. Oh yeah, it'll let me it'll let me explore a, a decent portion. Okay, will it stand out to me though? Is this anything? No, that's a rock. Ooh! Ah! Okay, 500. Right, this is where we started, so I guess the chest is here as well as I need to alter the fence? I don't know which fence it means. Not this fence, maybe this fence? Oh. That's ugly as hell. Ew. Alright, well, if this is what he wants, then he can have it. So I guess, I guess it's all the buildings in this little area and all the garbage was in the other area and he was pretending that I made all that garbage but I didn't because I'd never been there before. But he doesn't know that I was the one that destroyed all of his things. <laughs> okay, change wall appearance. Is this the wall? What's the wall? This wall? Oh! Mission complete. Okay, I think- Ooh, we got a bonus as well. He was very happy with our very mediocre work. I'm going to stay to find the last chest, right? I think I will um, cut it here and show you me finding it. And to you, it will look like I found it immediately and it will be super impressive. But in reality, it will have taken me maybe 20 minutes. Oh, it's up there. It's up there. How do I get there? Can I put a ladder down? Um, oh, I can't. I can't put any building stuff down. Maybe I can jump to it if I am sensible about this. Can I jump on that? Maybe I have put a chair in front of it? Oh, I can open it from underneath. Okay. <laughs> a new item has been unlocked. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not how... Maybe I was meant to get through the window, but um, that's fine. All right, let's go back. Who else can I build for? Okay, we get... Oh, we get a mason next. All right. I may do that. I may do that this episode. I think I'll do another quest and then I'll do some building. Oh, let me change the flag actually real quick. Yeah, we don't need Trogdor anymore. What we need is a pig, but it's fine. What did the burn book look like? Like that would be ideal. Maybe an old crone? Oh, I do, I do like that. Okay, I do like that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it looks red, but that's fine for now. Okay, next quest. Lady, we need your help with dungeon renovation. Our community is uncommonly peaceful and hardly ever are we forced to deal with crime. Folk here lives humbly but quietly and should any matter need resolution, a keg of cold beer is always of help. Of course, there was once a case when the tranquility of our modest town was disturbed, but the wardens quickly dealt with the problem and put the malevolent thieves into the dungeon. I think they were thieves, but to be honest, no one remembers who they were and what they had done. Personally, I think the dungeon renovation is unnecessary, but my wife Meredith believes no place, even the dungeons, deserves to be neglected like that. Would you be so kind and help me with this problem? No one has been in the dungeons for years now, and who knows what wicked things you can find down there. I wish people would sign it. I, like, I want to know who's writing everything. Okay, and we got rats. Cool, cool, cool. Right. I can't see. Um, can't get out. I'm trapped. Oh, I can, I can light these, okay. All right, some stains. It's gonna drop me some resources, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to my horse down here. Ooh, lovely cobwebs. I wonder how big it is in here. Also, will I be able to make dungeons for my castle? Cause that would be really good. Like I'd love to be able to make a basement, a basement level. Oh, we got some more. Dear friend, please feel free to join my beautiful party at the main chamber. Bring snacks and drinks. We start at the usual water time. Um, you okay, buddy? I think he's had a bit too much to drink at water time. Oh, another note. Okay, Lady Meredith, I understand your hesitation. It's a tough cookie to crack. It must be a really heavy burden to have an opportunity to become one of the first, if not the first, businesswoman in our kingdom, nay, in the world. I know that the vision of managing and expanding your own business sounds difficult, but believe me, it's relatively easy for good and hardworking people like us. All you need to do is find a trustworthy staff that you will manage. If you're still on the fence about opening your own beauty salon, let me help you imagine what it would be like. You said you're already in possession of the right place for such a venture. Go there. Take this letter and go there. Wait, so she's brought it here to the dungeon. Oh, I see. Okay, I see, I see. I see what's happening. She's gone to her husband and she's like, we need to clean out the dungeon. But um, she's going to open a beauty salon down here? Good for her. Good for her. Start reading it all over again and imagine your staff working, taking care of customers while you inhale the sweet scent of success. 
Can you smell it? Feel the pride, Lady Meredith. Pride in being capable of running your business like a true business owner. You don't have to worry about trade chains at all. You already have the best asset that every new business owner could wish for, me. I'll take care of your supplies and tools. All you need to do is provide a place and people. All I want in return is a tiny bitsy interest on your earnings, just enough to keep my business safe and sound. I hope you'll come to the right conclusion and we'll start working on our better future. Yours truly, Marquis de Maison. That was a juicy piece of lore. I don't really know who this guy is, but potentially unrelated. Oh, more lore, more lore. Now that John's gone, I can finally plot my escape without being constantly disturbed. And by the way, yeah, he was right all along. Cockroaches were indeed key to our survival, well, at least to mine, because they were delicious and now I feel strong enough to break out of this place. General Wally reported that his troops are ready to march on the front door, but I need more time to think about that. Perhaps the front storm isn't a good idea? I have to figure something out. I guess John is, um, this guy. <laughs> I need to make some repairs. This is a rather beautiful torture object. I don't know where the rats are. Also, I love that other people eat cockroaches as snacks. That's great. In Regina Gorge, I don't think we imprison people for war crimes or like tax evasion or anything. I think we only imprison like 20 year olds that still date high school girls. Okay, what's left? <laughs> so that's gonna be the um, salon chair. Looking good. So catch all the rats and I still have some garbage. I don't know where I've missed. Also, there's tons more notes left. I guess there's like a hidden area that I haven't seen. Oh, that's fun. Jamming spiders in my pocket. Ooh! <gasps> oh, that is really fucking cool. Oh, keys, keys, okay. To avoid any suspicion, I decided to become a farmer. I grow fungus and carry some things around the place as if I was working. Stupid furniture don't suspect anything. In the meantime, I'm plotting my escape and I think I came with, up with the perfect plan. Oh honey, I don't think you did. Right, down here, mmm... Um, I have keys for something. Oh, here, okay. Oh, there's another one. Ooh! <gasps> Gold. Everything is almost ready. The invitations are sent. Now I wait till the time that walls begin to drip with water. That's when the party begins. I invited everyone to the party except, of course, for the front door. Everybody knows the front door is not that stupid and they wouldn't fall for such an obvious trap. This is why I decided to act clever. When all the guests show up, the front door will feel jealous and check out the party. That's when I sneak out. Freedom at last. That's fucking funny. That is funny. That is some good logic. I guess... That's the last area. I haven't seen the rats yet. The rats are being very sneaky. Ooh, here they are. Hi, friends. Ooh, more lore, more lore. Good logic, good logic. Ooh, another one. What a sad tale. Okay, I think um, I'm just about done. Oh, I'm done. Okay, I'm going to complete the cleanup for additional rewards. There's two more pieces of garbage. Oh, this is my cart. Oh, that's my cart, you guys. Okay. Wait, let me just double check. Yeah, okay. Well, at least I get to keep all that uh, sweet dungeon stuff. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot my snacks. Oh, what's that? Ah. Okay, there we go. I got everything. Um, all right, back to house. Okay, I think I'll make this house because we, ha we haven't made a, a tavern house yet. We don't have a um, tavern lady. Actually, let's um, unlock. I think I had a couple more items unlocked. So I'll do the puzzles real quick. It's just called chair. <laughs> it's literally just chair. This is the prototype of all chairs that have ever existed. This is the original chair. Okay, that was quite nice. Oh, this is a nice bed. Stunning. Beautiful. I quite like that one. So is there only, there's only one more? Uh, I don't want to pay money. So I think the tavern should kind of be as you come in. Maybe, yeah, maybe next to the notice board. So kind of like here, I may have to move Matilda. It's important that I keep this. So Jermaine can just hang out here and I'll put Matilda over, over here for now. So how big does she need the tavern? She wants house area of six. Yeah, that's a good path. Um, can still get to this. I could give her a couple more. 
Yeah, why not? And maybe um, old wood floor. Oh, she wants a wash tub. We can we can do that. We can do that. Um, I think we'll do the walls, just regular stone. I think I'll give her um, a second level for her bed. Maybe that's where the wash tub goes to. And then I guess the second level is um, plaster. I'm kind of somewhat trying to match it to the um, the teacher's house here, with the with the plaster on top and the stone beneath. I think this is a good size for a tavern. I'll worry about the roof later. <laughs> so I think I want the fireplace here. I'll try that really tall one that doesn't really fit anywhere. I think it's this one. Maybe I'll give her that new bed that I unlocked. Not that I remember which one it was. Well, she doesn't need anything fancy. She's a tavern owner, you know? She's used to the simple things. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. That's cute. Maybe I'll give her a railing. Maybe, maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't let you put a square there, which I kind of wish that it would, but that's fine. At least she won't roll out of bed and die. Okay, she's got a bed. She wants a closet, chairs, wash tub. Can I fit a wash tub up here? It's gonna look a bit weird. I mean, it does fit. Maybe I can put a curtain across there. She doesn't have a lot of room to move around up here, but I think that's okay. And she wants um crown chairs, which I don't think I have that many. Yeah, this this kind of like weirdly modern looking, like these three. I don't like them. Or the sofas. You'll see in the lumberjack's house, he wanted crown chairs as well. So I've had to give him these weird ones. She wants the crown closet. Okay, well that's um that's annoying. At least she doesn't want the crown chair. Well, what closet then? What closet do I have that is appropriate for a pub? Maybe this one. No, I don't. I think I like that. It's a wee bit fancy. I think it's too fancy. Maybe this one? Mm, that has too many drawers. I think this one will be good. Yeah, that one's okay. So she just needs chairs, but obviously I'm gonna give her a um, place for all her patrons to sit. Oh, and she needs um, beer kegs, obviously. I think these will go under the stairs. And maybe these tables at an angle. Hmm. No, angle doesn't work. All right, I think it's gonna have to be long tables. All right, one here and one, hmm, like, hmm, I guess here. It's a bit crowded. Maybe I move this outside. Yeah, I think that's okay out there. And have that, um, like there. Okay, I really wanna do an angle thing, but I don't think it's gonna work, especially. How about that? Yeah, I think I think that's okay. I mean, it's not it's not a massive it's not a massive kingdom yet anyway, so it's not like she's gonna have loads of people coming over. Mm, not the pine, not the pine. I think this one's okay. And then I think she wants to have like candles on the table. I mean, she doesn't. I'm super. I'm projecting. She hasn't said anything about what she wants on the table. I think she should have candles on the table. That's how you get them to fall over. <laughs> I like I like the cluttered look, you know? And then a couple of the ones with a, there's some with like froth in them. Oh wait, that's a, yeah, it's a bucket. Maybe some food. Where's the bread? Oh, here it is. And maybe like a knife for the bread. That's good enough. Oh, here's the frothy, here's the frothy drink. Okay. One for you. Um, one. Uh, this table's looking a bit too cluttered. I think I think this is this is where there's a new patrons came in, and the other table is um she just hasn't cleared it yet. Maybe this is like the the bin. Yeah, I think that's all cute. I mean, it's going to be dark. I'll put a ceiling light in though once I do the roof, which I guess I might as well do that now. I have gotten slightly better at the roofing, having practiced um when I wasn't recording, but I, I'm not going to test myself right now. <laughs> and then, yeah, ceiling lights. I guess it would be like there. Oh, can I only do it? I can't have it. I thought I'd be able to put it up there, but you need, I guess you need floor underneath it. That's, uh, that's really annoying. Well, okay, I guess I have to put, um, it's like a candelabra. Yeah. Oh, that's way too fancy. 
Maybe I'll put another candle here. Okay, is that better? Kind of, kind of. I bet this would work here. Oh yeah, that's annoying. Okay, it does work here. Well, we'll just go with that. Get rid of these. I wanted it to be kind of like dark and dingy, but it's fine. Okay, I'm kind of happy with this. I think we need more barrels. I need to put something in here. I don't know what. Maybe just like plates. That looks kind of weird, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. And cops, of course. Okay, I, it's it's doing my head in trying to place the decorations, so I'm probably not going to bother with much more. Maybe a little rug would be cute though. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Oh, they need a pub dog. They need a pub dog. Jermaine, where are you? Jermaine, you've got a new job now. You you live in here. Enjoy, buddy. And I wanted to put curtains kind of across here. I wonder if it will actually let me do that. Not really. Not really. If I had put an actual wall here, I think it would have, but I kind of want it to be open. Jermaine, you can have this uh, disgusting piece of meat. I think this is ready for the tavern owner. I feel like it needs windows at the front, right? It needs something, I don't know. It looks like a weird shape to me. Should the roof have been going the other way? I don't know, let's, let's rent it for now. So, serious lava. Enjoy. Oh, we've got a night. Oh, I hope we get a night next time. I don't know whether I will do these ones on recording or off recording. You'll have to let me know in the comments what which you prefer. Like if you want to see me make absolutely every building. And if so, I'm sorry that I did these ones. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you prefer to see me building within the video or if you prefer, or if, or if you don't mind that I do it um, when these recording isn't rolling and i will see you guys in the next video bye